I'm hesitant to call this the Russian Apollo 13 because I don't like simplifying things down to the blank blank. Not only because the event happened first, but also because every event and personality in history is unique. Except for twins, I guess. And lookalikes. Have you seen them? Some of them are so creepy. But I guess for simplicity's sake, for my American audience, I guess I could call it as such because there are quite a few similarities between these two events as well as films as both are about cosmonauts dealing with the side effects of the space race. Faulty rush to production technology. Apparently Leonov, the main character in the film himself, was the creative consultant in the film, so maybe in parts of the film he was trying to portray himself as even more of a hero to the Soviet Union than he already is, literally twice. And boy does he deserve it. The film wastes no time. From the first shot it cuts right into action with Leonov saving a test plane, and the film is paced pretty much perfectly, combining aspects of not just historical dramas but also action films, and there are quite a few scenes where it even felt like a pretty good science fiction. But it's not science fiction, it's science fact. Now because I don't know anybody in this film on a personal level, just on a hey I've heard of these folk level, I can't really judge the actors on their accuracy. But except for the child actors who are bloody awful, everybody felt like real human being, even in comedy scenes. I especially enjoyed Ilyan's role as the designer Korolev. Now was there anything in the film aside from the child actors that I didn't like? <laughs> Now really, this is a pretty solid film, it achieves exactly what it sets out to do, entertain you for two and a half hours, by the way, it does not feel like a 140 minute film at all, it's so good you'll want it to be longer. There are a couple of scenes that could have used some rewriting though, I'm not saying they were bad, I'm saying that they could have been better. The part where Leonov tells Belyayev about his childhood was almost word for word copied from Wikipedia. And I am aware that Brezhnev was not a nice guy. <laughs> But, by the way he was shown in this film almost made him look cartoonishly evil. And not in terms of dialogue or portrayal, but in terms of the structure of the film itself. He was in just one and a half scenes in the film and never again. We meet him watching a film in the cinema and telling Korolev to do his best to catch up with the Americans and then he says a few words over the phone. That's it. I know he was a busy man, so he wouldn't have had a lot of time to deal with the characters of this film, but there must have been a better way to show this, because as it stands, well let's imagine that you were raised under a rock, that you've never seen any TV or read any book, and you go to this film. The way this scene is structured, it, it feels like Brezhnev is some kind of a villain that they're setting up for Avengers 6. Fine. I'll do it myself. Then again, actually, never mind. You know, that is pretty accurate. I, I do wonder what kind of superpower he would have, though. In any case, this is a pretty solid film. It's not groundbreaking or anything, but it's really entertaining. 8 out of 10. Wow, it's been a while since I've given a score to a film. Wow, it's been a while since I made a video that wasn't a shitpost. I originally wanted to release a Samurai Jack micro-review, but I lost all passion two-thirds into the editing. Maybe I'll finish one day, or maybe I'll do like a compilation of unreleased videos, because I do have a lot of them. Check out my other videos, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, thanks!